Dick. They're looking to extend their three-game winning streak in this fourth-round game between the TCU Horn Frogs and the St. Mary's Gales. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. The Gales are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First, don't let that big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Second of all, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Lastly, play your game on defense. Play your defense dictate their offense. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Try to pack it inside for two. Perfectly executed. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Inside, there's a double team waiting there. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? There's the fake. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Number 20 picks up the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Rims off. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Puts up the tray. He buries the shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He goes to the line. Makes his first. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He'll regroup the offense. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Inside. Goes up for two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Fed the low block. The small forward receives the pass. For the bucket. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. Time to pick up the defense here now. Patterson handles the feed. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Johnson comes up with it. They run it up into transition. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. As the fans continue to chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a flash from the high post. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Tries for two. That helps got to come quicker. Hey, very slow on a double team, Brad. Entry pass in the paint. For two. Great shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Number 20 is receiving a lot of support from the fans. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Here's a double team. Quinn handles the pass, makes the shot. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Got it. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Number 50 receives the ball. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. The post flashes up high if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. Length of the floor. He hammers it home. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He looks for the bomb. Sinks the shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. Goes up for two. In and out. They're working around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Shows patience waiting for the reset. Fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 50 is emotionally fired up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. There they come with a double team to stop it. Takes it off him. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He attempts a jump hook. The Gales have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Working it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The ball goes out of bounds. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. 
They work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Fakes a jumper from left of the circle. Makes it. Gets it back out. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Here we go on the break. Tries for two. Steals a pass. Knocking it loose. High post flashes for the opportunity. For two, they just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Quinn draws the personal. They scored eight in a row. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. You've got that right, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. That's a nine-zip run. Stolen away. And again, they look. He makes the block. Goes. That's an 11 nothing run. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Double team now, bad angle. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Good job defensively. He makes a nice shot fake. Picked off. From three point range, way off target. They'll bring it up. Up and inside. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams. And as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. There they come with a double team to stop it. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad.
This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Count it. And he got them both. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. For the bucket, he gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post flashes for the ball handler. On the inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Number 32 with the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Horn Frogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the pick. There's the roll. Fires away. Nice shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Here's the three ball. That was nice. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Gets the rejection. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. There's the block. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's the trap. They're working around the arc. Wide open for the shot. Nice high post screen. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hat. Excitement with that jam. He looks for three. He makes the shot. He intercepts it. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. He up fakes. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Tries to get the D to bite. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Takes the pass in the paint. He shoots from long range. Oh, yes. Pump fakes. Working it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Down on the low post. Defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Up fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. They work the perimeter. Up and inside. Step out on that screener. Off the rim and no good. can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. <laughs> With a rejection. it up coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion he puts it up gets it to go <laughs> he beats him to the punch defensively what a terrific job footwork really excellent on a post player here's a block from behind my man was on a mission he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. On the outside. Let's it fly. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. the rejection they work it around the perimeter high post screen they say forget about it and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the top of the key, way off target. At halftime, the Gales lead by 11. So let's take a look back and watch the play of the half.
Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Here's a double team. He throws it up from downtown. He can't get the bucket to fall. Picks off the pass. They're off into transition. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. Tries for two. Doesn't go. He puts it up. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He fires from long range. He shows the sweet touch. They'll work it around the arc. The center gets the ball. Kicks it out. Outside jumper. He gets it to fall. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Turnover City, though, always really negate any offense. The center takes the feed. For two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Picks off the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. We didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. perimeter on the dribble gives it up goes up for two take a look at this the pass try to come up with a steal and they do transition opportunity coming up robs him of the ball neither team is willing to slow things down man what action man i can't see how either team can maintain this pace and remain productive at the same time the center with the ball defender knocked the ball loose but the offense got it back he fouled him. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long way. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Off the rim and no good. In the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Pushing that basketball. Takes it off him. He takes the shot. He misses it. On the outside, he lets it fly. He gets that one to fall. The Gales are ahead by 16. Up fake. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Gales have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. He comes away with it. Here they go into the break. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from outside. Scorches the net. Turnover. Goes up for two. Finger roll. On the outside. For two. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three point land. Here's a double team. The small forward takes the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals the pass. the shot if he wants it stolen away he looks to run looking for the foul we've got a blowout so far folks and when you're down this much late you have to make sure you don't fall into any bad habits you have to treat this like a practice now
Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, and passing the block. And I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. Rejects it. Picked off. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He tries to knock down the three. That's a 7 nothing run. There's the trap. Number 50 takes it away. He tries a jump hook. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Great play to take that to the basket. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Spacing. Pull up jumper from way out. Let's rewind that. shot they've left him completely alone great pressure great double team really explosive the defender right on his hip and i think he's holding his ground dick great. scores it and he's fouled so and one opportunity here what a play these kids are fired up now and if you're going to celebrate why not celebrate with a teammate hey hey why not it's a team sport, right? Makes the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Dick, that first half was so close. Both teams were playing very, very well. And now I think the talent is starting to show in the second half. Well, I think what happened at halftime, he really convinced his kids about really increasing the energy on the defensive side. Their energy is so much better. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Grace picks up. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Mr. Nestler, here's a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. The Horn Frogs are down by 20. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot.
Gave it up. They move it into the front court. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Double team down. Bad angle. It's stolen. Here they come now on a turtle. Here they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of play. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Was that beautiful or what? The Gales lead by 20. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Got some room. He shoots from downtown. He drains the shot. They work the perimeter. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. And he goes with a spin and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. With a deep shot from outside. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out executing a game plan and ended up on top. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. For two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Here's a double team. He strips him clean. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Sinks it. Let's take a look at that last basket. Anticipating well. When you're anticipating, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He lets it go. Makes it.
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, and really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. He's got an open look for the shot. Got a nice screen. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Penetrates and kicks back on the outside. Take it away. They push it up on the break. Looking for a good shot. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Show me that one again. Shot clock is dead. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Robs him of the ball. And we got a whistle and a foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Let's go to the instant replay, camera. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Gales wins and reaches the end of the road. These are the last road games of the season. Hey, two wins are all they need, Mr. Nestler, and it's all they're thinking about as this team advances to the magical Final Four. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.